Hello everybody and welcome to Fig Fanatic. Today we are going antiquing. As you can see we are Aardvark Antique Mall and Self Storage. This will be our first visit today. So let's go in and see if we can sort through all the junk and find some hidden treasures. This Wolverine bike is absolutely horrifying. Why is his face on it? Like, why? It's hideous. I don't even remember this bike from when I was a kid. Akira, one of the all-time greatest anime films of all time. It's not a bad price on it, but nothing I'm gonna be paying. These Star Wars Cups are sick. Give me Max Rebo on a cup. Give me some of that. Buying some of these old school, the old school robot toys are kind of tempting because I have an affinity for this kind of stuff, but I just don't know what I would do with it. It's still very cool though. Gotta love the classics. I actually owned the Fred and the Barney of this set. I'm not really sure why I owned the live action Flintstones toys of any of any of them. I think because they were like a buck at KB Toys, and when you're a kid, you've got a dollar, and you see a toy for a dollar, you think, why not? But they're kind of horrifying. We have lone Seth Rollins just chilling here. I, I don't know why. He looks like he has a bad receding hairline. Huh. Beanie Babies, the original fig hunt of the 90s right here. This is what everybody was after. And now it's worth nothing. All I know is the Princess Diana bear of some kind is worth money. I Somehow they managed to profit off of her death through Beanie Babies, but America, you know? Gotta love it. I feel like every, I'm, I was born in the 80s and I feel like every kid either had one of these or had access to one of these. It was like this uh, Fisher Price Barnyard set. Yeah, yeah. Ants, just like I remember it. This thing was awesome. Yeah, you a little coop or whatever that is. It's the kind of thing I, I kind of want to buy for my child someday because I feel like, just like Castle Gray School, if you're in Nebraska, you need your own uh, Fisher Price family play farm. So I think that's kind of a cool retro thing. Probably the coolest thing I've seen here so far, just because I haven't seen one in so long. So glad, uh, nice, nice seeing this year. Brings back a lot of memories. say you're not a real vintage toy store of any kind even being in an antique store if you don't have power of force they are everywhere and I mean everywhere Ugh. pretty much the first Star Wars toys you've seen so far they have some old lunch boxes here. god she looks terrifying and Ronald looks stoned as hell right now. Well, it looks like he's collecting money from his... Yeah, he doesn't care at all. Right, like, like they do. Like, he then Grimace is so guilty. He's looking away. Like, he's guilty conscience. He looks scary. 
looks anti-Semitic. <laughs> I should go there. Okay, so I know this is not a fig, but this necktie is badass. It's Speed Racer. Oh, Mach 5. This is unbelievable. I love Speed Racer. We keep finding these like mini WWE statue things. We have uh, Young Blood of 90s fame, if you want to call it that. Rob Liefeld's terrible comic book. One of the few toys we're finding here, this has been an utter failure so far. Wow, uh, so this is Flabber of Beetleborgs fame. Beetleborgs was a terrible show in the 90s. Uh, Power Rangers wannabe. Ugh, so disturbing. And it looks like it was Garfield at one time. It's Heathcliff. Oh man, I love Heathcliff. Holy shit. Okay, Heathcliff, I don't know why he's a cowboy, but normally he's a bum cat. He's kind of like Top Cat and uh, Garfield put together. But Heathcliff was an awesome cartoon show in the 80s that I was all about. Uh, unfortunately, he looks like his nose has been destroyed. And if he was regular Heathcliff, I would consider buying this. I freaking loved Heathcliff. Check it out, kids. Heathcliff. Better than Garfield. Okay, that's probably not true, but I still love Heathcliff. It's absolutely true. This is me trying to find more figs at an antique store. I never found them. Okay, so I admit that was a terrible decision. That was a terrible experience. I should not have done that. Great antiques, no figs, bust. That is about as big as bust I've ever had. But we're going to do this again. We're going to go to a different antique store and try our luck there. So come on. Okay, so right off the bat, I think we have found a jackpot. They have these Batman animated figures. I just bought a Batgirl one. They have them here for like 15 bucks a piece. And that is not correct whatsoever. Um, I think it's just a case they don't realize what they have. And I do. So I might be really irresponsible and buy a bunch of these. Stay tuned. Okay, I love Pezzas. I don't collect Pez, but when I was a kid, I tried to get my dad to buy me as many as I could get him to buy. So I always kind of had a thing for Pez. And they got Pez and Spades. Old ones, new ones. It's an antique store, so of course NASCAR, they have a Jeff Gordon one. So many Pezes, so many. We've already gotten way more cool finds in this one like row of glass shelves in the entire store of the last one. We've got vintage Star Wars figures for not bad prices either. That Royal Guard with his cape, blanket, whatever you want to call it, that's pretty cheap. Superman socks, if you're into that kind of thing. Man, a lot of cool stuff though. Donald Duck here has hit hard times. I mean, he's always kind of sounded like he was cracked out and turns out he was, unfortunately. So these were the uh, Burger King, I believe Burger King Pokemon stuff, like the kids toys. I had damn near all of these that they have already. I don't know if these prices of 10 to $15 a piece are accurate. I want to say it's not, but it's Pokemon, you never know. But I'm still doing these videos years from now. We're gonna come right back here and I guarantee you this will still be here because no one's buying that snake. So now we have open door stuff over here. Kind of just set up one of the Funkos over here. Let's see what else we got. 
why anyone's gonna buy a Shang-Chi figure from an antique store, I don't know. Oh man. For some of you millennials, you'll remember the episode one soda toppers. I see her, I see Amidala everywhere. I don't see Mace Windu around a whole lot. Not that I'm gonna buy this, it's just interesting to see it, I guess. Usually it's a uh, new, new gun ray is the one I only see from episode one, the pop topper one. Or Anakin. Or Anakin, the pod racer one. We got Boomerang from Suicide Squad. Don't think they're going to be making one for the sequel. See, I think they did, even though on um, spoiler alert, he dies immediately. Oh, hey, speaking of Annie. Omega? Oh, there he is, yeah. <laughs> this is pod racing. Pod racing ruined his life. It's the Bulba. It's the Bulba. So we found more Funkos. Um, I feel like Funkos are the future of antique stores. You're gonna find them everywhere. Um, I own the Shawn Michaels. Um, I think he's pretty valuable now. I have him for 12 bucks, I think, because the package is a little dinged up. But he's kind of um, pricey, I believe. I haven't checked eBay. Um, but for a trade bait, I might get him because he's $12. I kind of wish I would have kept mine in the box because he's so valuable now. So, some cool cups and stuff. Okay. We're paying for it. <laughs> America, the album. Oh, here we go. Get a little bit. Get a little bit. Okay. Maybe something cool is here. Maybe it's all to jump. Okay. We got the shadow. The shadow was the terrible uh, Alec Baldwin movie. I actually owned a lot of these figures. Um, oh, just the shadow, of course. I owned all of these. So the shadow is cool. The movie was not. But, no. See, there's the Barney Rubble that we saw at the last place, but he's boxed. Man. I had that when I was a kid. Man, the Justice League toys that you're seeing are total justice. Excuse me. These were cool. These were badass toys, man. The Green Lantern one was especially cool. The Flash. Yeah, these were awesome. These were very cool. Man, there's a lot of unusual stuff here. Stuff you just don't see. Some bendy. Okay, this is different. I didn't even know. I didn't even know where's Waldo had figures. This is news to me. If they have a Waldo figure. I would consider buying it because it's so unusual. Comment below. Did you know there was a Where's Waldo figure? I did not. This is, I'm normally not caught off guard like this. I'm trying to find the year on this thing. I just didn't ever know they made toys. Huh, weird. Very weird. Two-pack? Marvel Legends two-pack. Even got Daredevil, his alter ego show on Murdoch. Dick Murdoch? Was that in there? Matt. Matt Murdoch. Matt Murdoch? I don't know where Dick... Oh, Dick Murdoch's a famous wrestler from like the 70s, excuse me. Wow, these are really cool. Wish I had that Captain America one. That's kind of neat. Shadows of the Empire will always be cool. You don't see Dragon's Lair toys ever. If they had the main guy, uh, Dirk, I would have considered that. Some Muppets figures down here. I'm not a huge Muppets guy. I mean, I grew up with the Muppets, but I'm sure people out there love them some Muppets, so there you go. Got 
weird looking Lex Luthor. Looking like a brontosaurus. He's a long neck. Look at Ralphie up here with his Red Rider BB gun. Okay. That's haunting. A it's... little creepy, but I kind of like it. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God. I wasn't ready for that. What is wrong with him? I just don't understand. They got the lamp up there. In General Zod? But like old General Zod. Not. That Michael Shannon, General Zod. I will find him! Man of Steel. These toys will never move. I promise you. Let's see what's over here. Nothing particular. Ooh. 90s toys. And Psylocke. This wave. This wave of, of X-Men toys, the X-Men classics, were very, very cool. They all had like weapons, like Nightcrawler, a sweet sword, a flaming sword. I mean, a flaming sword, come on, man. I mean, the only thing more dangerous than a sword is one that's on fire. Some cool cups and stuff. For those of you that want your very own Sarah Michelle Gellar, you can brush her and everything. That does not look like anything like her. She looks homely. Like you look like smoking hot, homely girl. I she looks like she's an eight-year-old. Oh, that's not her. It's Willow. I don't know who Willow oh, is. That's her her buddy okay, in the early I, seasons. I didn't follow Buffy past the movie. So sorry kids. Why is this robot need a car? It's the machine gun two thousand one. Okay, so we are now all done with the armad the brass armadillo antique shop, and we hit the score. We have a sweet Batman animated series Riddler. This thing retails for like fifty to sixty bucks on eBay, and fifteen dollars. What a steal! And then we also had to get Robin, who just looks awesome. If you're a fan of the animated series toys, same deal. Fifteen dollars. Cannot beat it. So I'm pumped. Uh, I might come back in a couple weeks or more and see if there's more that are still there because uh, I'm down I'm down to probably buy like three or four more down the road. So great opportunity to save a lot of money and complete the set. But anyways, um, Aardvark Center was, you know, it was what it was. Um, the Brass Armadillo, there's actually four locations, one in Kansas City, uh, one in Iowa, one in Denver, and then somewhere else. Um, so if you ever have a chance to hit those up, based on this place, I would say take the risk. It's worth it because the reward will pay off, I'm sure. I promise you. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you loved all the junk that we did, too. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you saw that you thought was cool. and Or let me know of any awesome finds you've had at an antique store. But, you know, like, share, subscribe, of course, all that good stuff. But thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the aisles.